Addressbook policies can limit the information that users see in their global address list. Some organizations require that certain users be prohibited from seeing other users in the global address list. For example, a large investment company may have several divisions that are competitors in selected markets, and allowing communication between these investors in each division may violate the trading laws. Other organizations that have extremely large global address lists may want to limit the size of the offline address book for users, and limit what users can see in the global address list is called global address list segmentation. In 2013, we can use address book policies to configure GAL segmentation, and when configuring your policy, you assign a GAL, an offline address book, a room list, and one or more address lists to the policy. You then assign the address book policy to mailbox users, which means that users can only see the objects in the GAL that are part of their policy. In this demonstration, we're actually going to configure address book policy. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to create a new global address list for the research department. So to do that, I've come into the Exchange Management shell. So what we're going to do here is a new global address list, hyphen name research gal, recipient filter is find everybody in the research department. And we can see it's now created that. The next thing to do is just update the, uh, the global address lists. So what we're going to do here is do an update global address list hyphen identity research gal. Right, that's done. So the next thing we're going to do here is we just need to create a new offline address book for the research department. All right, so we're going to do new offline address book, hyphen name, search OEB for offline address book, and then address list, we're going to add that to the research gal. So that's all complete now. So the next thing to do now is to just actually create our new address book policy. So what we're going to see here is a new hyphen address book policy, hyphen name research address book policy, hyphen address list, we're going to include the research address list, the offline address book will be research OAB, the global address list will be the research gal, and the room list, we're just going to use the all rooms container. Right, so now we've created our address book policy, the next thing to do is actually assign our address book policy. So what we're going to do here is do get hyphen mailbox organization unit research. We're then going to set the hyphen mailbox address book policy research address book policy. And that's done. So the next thing we'll do here is we'll just test it to make sure that it has worked. So what I'm going to do here is just move over to my client machine. Well, my client machine, I've logged in as Ali and Ali is a member of the research group. So as we can see, Ali at datum.com. And what we'll do here is just click on address book. And what we can see here is we can see that we can only see the users of the research department sitting in here. Click on the little drop down, we can see the all rooms, which we added the address book policy. And we can also see the research address list, which was another thing that we added to the uh, offline address book and the new address book policy. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thanks very much.